Welcome back, Team Favor. Back again with another video. I'm back with another K pop video. And I'm back with another video from X. Oh, and as y'all can tell by the title of this video, I'm counting down my top 10 favorite songs from XO. This was extremely hard to make because XO is the group that got me into K pop. I've said that on so many videos, but it really literally is. So going back and watching all my XO videos and seeing my reaction to them and listening to the songs again, it was just like, wow. Trip down memory lane. And let's start with number 10. If, well, first of all, if y'all have not seen my top 10 favorite K-pop groups video, make sure y'all check that video out. I counted down my top 10 favorite groups from K-pop that I reacted to in 2019. XO did feature on that list. But let's get into the top 10 favorite songs from XO. So when I initially made this video, I wanted to go back and you know watch some of my reaction videos because there might be some songs that I forgot about. And number 10 is a song that I forgot about. It. I don't think I ever reacted to this song again, like in any form, like a dance practice, a live performance, a, you know, anything, I don't think. It is EXO's Load Up. I really forgot how good this song was until I went back and listened to it. And the video was great too. Lipstick shadow, why in big color? La 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 la, high end champagne, bamboo, Like, it, it really goes to show that out of all of the songs I listen to, I listened to EXO's Lodo probably almost a year ago at this point. And list, and I probably only listened to it that one time. And then, or and when I edited the video, and then I listened to it again, and it beat so many other songs. That shows me how good Lodo is, and I'm probably about to download it for real. I really like the rapping part. This song is most like a hip hop song to me from EXO. I really love Lodo. And I'm really about to start listening to it again, all over again. Number nine, it goes to Electric Kiss. Electric Kiss, I love Electric Kiss. I knew that Electric Kiss was gonna feature on this list because it is just an amazing song. And the dance practice is good too. As y'all know, I watched the dance practice before I actually heard the song and it lived out. Electric Kiss and The Eve, I kinda put them like as the same almost because I reacted to them in the same video. It's kind of weird, but like I feel like I like Electric Kiss more. Number eight, it goes to Growl. One of my favorite songs from EXO. Growl, I love how different it is. I love the video a lot. I reacted to the dance practice not that long ago, and it's just. I really like it. It's so different and it lives up to the great XO songs. And I would listen to this so long ago. Like most of these songs on this list are like the first couple of XO songs I reacted to. <laughs> Going back, it's just like, man, XO has some hits from when I from a year ago when I started reacting to them. Number seven, it goes to one of y'all favorite songs, and I really like this song a lot. I had to learn to love it, really. I liked it when I first reacted to it, but I like it even more now. It goes to... I like the video a lot. I like the chorus a lot. I like their live performance of it. If y'all have not seen my live performance reaction to Call Me Baby, y'all should really check it out. Or did that video go up? Because some videos I, I record live performance reactions and they don't get to post because of copyright reasons or whatever. But Call Me Baby, it, I don't see Call Me Baby being played on the radio just like a regular song, like even though it's in a different language and here in the States. Because it, it really does remind me of like a type of Bruno Mars type song or something like that. Chris Brown type. Like I can see it. It's a really, really good song. Number six, I love this song so much, and I think what made me like it even more is seeing it in its live performance. It is Wolf. I really, really like it, and I like everybody's look inside the video and the live performance, the dance practice, it's amazing. And my boy Kai came through with the braids, but like, it was just, I, I love Wolf. It's one of my favorite songs from XO. I love the beginning. I listened to Wolf on my way to work at one point for like, Three months straight when I first got inside and got into K-pop. I love how they incorporated the uh, woo inside the song. I love the. I, I can't sing it. I can't sing it right now, but I just love it. Number five. It, this song always has been like I always liked it. It never really like I can listen to it every single day for the rest of my life and I'll be just fine. It's but it's not like an amazing amazing song. But it's just it's consistent. It is overdose. It's 
I really like the song. I love the chorus, and I just, I love how everybody, everybody's verse in it, and it's just, it's an amazing, amazing song. I don't really have much to say about Overdose. It's just a really, really good song. Number four. Now this song here. I will listen to this inside the car with the with the windows down and like blast it. It reminds me, we played this song for my cousin's prom. We called it a Coco Bop prom. Uh, I guess I just gave gave it away. It is Coco Bop. This song reminds me of just like stoners a lot. The video even reminds me of like stoners. I don't know what they're talking about inside the song, but it just, it reminds me of just getting stoned. It reminds me of that. It's just so mellow and just so just like, Coco Bob. Like, what does Coco Bob mean? But it's just, it's so smooth and mellow and relaxing. I just love Coco Bob. I don't know. It's, just, it's amazing. And the video is really, really, like, it reminds me of just getting stoned too, so. <laughs> Uh, then we get to the top three, and honestly, y'all, I always knew that these were my top three favorite songs from EXO. I always knew that, but, like, it just goes, like, how do I rank these? And I really don't know how. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to put other songs as number 10 through 2, and then number 1 will be all three, and it's just a tie. But I'm like, I can't do that to them. I really want to pick one of these three. But it's literally so hard. It literally goes based on how I'm feeling that day. Because these three songs, they're all different too. It's crazy because all three of these songs are completely different. They're nothing alike. But I just, I love all three of these songs so, so much. They're amazing. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put them in order. It's probably not the right order. I'll probably change it tomorrow because that's just, I love these songs so much. Number three, unfortunately, I really wish that I did not have to give this as number three. I really wish I could put a number one, but it's the song that got me into K-pop, really. The song that got me into XO. It's the first song from K-pop that I listened to and video I watched and listened to all the way through. It actually goes to Love Shot. Love Shot. It is, it is, it is a good song. I, I um I sing along with it all the time. I downloaded it like as soon as I listened to it. A shout out to Shane Young, Dio, Kai, and Bake Young because they they're my favorites inside the Love Shot uh, song and video. I just I love that, but it's it's amazing. I don't have anything to say about it. I love the song. It's it's my favorite, really. Uh, number two is. <laughs> I wish I could put this as number one. It did like even making this video right now. I'm like, well, maybe I should put this as number three and put Love Shot as number two. And uh, it's just so it's weird because I like all three of these songs equally. Number two actually goes to Tempo. I got into it like I love how it started. I can't believe. I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe that I have to put this song as number three. <laughs> but I just said three because it went with the, what I said. But it's actually number two. Uh, so yeah, tempo. The, I remember when I first listened to this, I actually turned it off. And then all the comments, I listened to three songs or four songs in that video. And then all the comments were just like, I can't believe you turned tempo off. And right before the best part. Now I had to go back and listen to tempo again. I'm like, oh my God. I did turn it off during this best part, like the acapella, like that was amazing. But yeah, I love the song all the way through. I listen to it all the time. It's, it reminds me of like a Chris Brown or Bruno Mars song, just like. Just like overdose, it's, it is. It's so hype and just so it's so fun. It just make you want to dance. Like I can play this at a wedding right now, even though it's in a different language. It's a great, great song. But number one, and what really made me put this as number one is every time it comes on, I do sing it. But I do that with Love Shot and Tempo and Coco Bop too. But this song, I 
have listened, I have reacted to this song in every single version I can. I've reacted to it in South Korean, Chinese, I've reacted to the dance practice, it live. I've reacted to it live more than once. So, uh, it goes to Monster. You can call me Monster. I'm tripping in your heart, babe. Monster is my number one favorite EXO song. It's so weird because I remember when I first started to even try to put these in order inside of like July, Monster was number three. Monster was number three for sure. And it's like, it's between Tempo and Love Shot, but Monster is just, it's a great, great song. The video, everything about Monster is just amazing. If I brought somebody on this channel who never heard K-pop and I had to let them listen to one of EXO songs, I would probably put Monster on because I feel like it lives up even though it's in a different language like they would get into monster And then watching my initial reaction to monster. I'm surprised like, I wasn't really as into it as I am now Because now when it comes on I can't stop singing. It's 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 lit. <laughs> I love it, but that's it for my list Make sure y'all leave y'all list inside the comment section down below number 10 was Lodo But let me tell y'all there was some beat some songs where it was like uh I had to keep switching out so the Eve it's one of my favorite songs from EXO, but I couldn't put it on the list. So I put Lodo as number 10 before the Eve. So shout out to the Eve. This is some honorable mentions. Diamond is the, like, out of all the songs that I reacted to from EXO, all the ones on this list are like the first songs I reacted to. Diamond is the only song that I've reacted to recently that I think compares to these new, or these older songs that I listened to. And I don't know when these songs actually came out, like these could be new. I'm calling these old songs, but they're, they could be new, if you know what I'm saying. But Diamond, I've reacted to it recently and it lives up with this list. I really like Diamond. I really wanted to put Diamond as number two, but I couldn't. I mean, as number 10, but I couldn't. Also, Power. If y'all remember seeing my reaction video to Power, I was really into that. I was like super duper into Power, but it didn't make the list. Power is a great, great song, but I feel like I was really, really into the video more than the song, for real. So, but, but it is a great, great song. I really wish I could put it on here. Dancing King and Run This, I like those two songs as well. Honorable mentions to them. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms of social media. Make sure y'all check out my top 10 favorite songs from K-pop video. It's inside the K-pop playlist. Make sure y'all click on the K-pop playlist if y'all really want to. And until next time, catch you later.